Hello. So in this video, we're going to talk about strings. Well, you might ask, what, what is that? Well, it's a string of characters, or really anything you can put between quotes. So paragraphs, sentences, words, numbers, exclamation points, like this. Hello world. It's a string, and it's denoted as a string because it's between two quotes. And note to use strings in your program, you're going to have to use the include string header. That tells the compiler that you're going to be using strings in your program. Without that, you're going to get an error. So first, let's make a string. So to create a string, we're going to use the std colon colon string. So string is part of the standard library. And string is actually a class within the standard library. Right here, I'm creating a string object. And in order to tell the compiler that, I have to use std colon colon. Remember, colon colon from the namespace video is the scope resolution operator. It tells the compiler that string is in the standard library. So string my string equals hello world. So we're setting its value to hello world. And then we can print it out just like anything else. Let's run this program. There we go. Hello world. Let's move on to manipulating strings a little bit. So we're going to do something called concatenating strings, or putting two strings together. We can use the plus operator, addition right here, and it does what you think it is. It adds the two together. It puts the first one first and the second one second. Notice how I even had to put a space in here to make this look a little nicer when we print it out. So my string equals its current contents, my string, which is hello world, plus see you soon. And then we can print that out and see what happens. So we print out hello world from the first print statement, and we print out hello world, see you soon, in the second statement. But there's actually a better way to do this. We can use the plus equals operator. The plus equals operator will do the same thing, but you don't need to write out the my string variable twice. You can say my string plus equals see you soon. So my string equals its current contents plus see you soon. We can run that and notice we'll get the same output. So like I said, strings are a class and classes have member functions. We can use these member functions to give us a lot more functionality. Otherwise, you could write your own string implementation. You could use character variables or something else if you wanted to. But right now, if I wanted to get the length, the number of characters in my string, I don't have to write any code. I just use the dot length function. So here, I can print out the length of my string, which is 26. So if you count, there'll be 26 characters there. You can also use my string dot size. It outputs the same thing. But there's more than just the length that we can get. We can use the compare function too. The compare function here will take two strings and tell you if they're the same, or if one's greater than or less than. So the notion of greater than or less than comes from every character having a value associated with it. And the compare function checks every character against the other one and sees if one of them is greater or less than. So if they're equal, it will return a zero. If the second string, or in this case string two, is less than string one, it's going to return a less than zero. And string two being greater than will return a greater than zero. So we can run this program. And you'll note it says red apples does not match green apples. That's correct because they're not the same. We can also, though, go back here and we can change these two. And we can run it again. And you know it won't print anything because they are the same. And in this exact function, we don't care which one's greater than or which one's less than. We just care if they're the same or not. So to finish this up, we're going to talk about one more member function. We're going to talk about the insert member function. So my string dot insert. Now we're telling it where to insert it, so the number of characters in, and then what to insert there. Note I'm inserting a string. If we look at this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It should be right in between hello and world. So if we run this, it says hello world, and then we're inserting I am here right in between the two, and then see you soon. So strings have a lot of member functions that provide a lot of useful implementations. So I suggest go looking at those on CPP reference and even writing your own programs. 
strings are going to be very useful. So I'd, as always, suggest playing around with them on your own. Uh, but see you in the next video.